So the first thing we're going to need to make our roasted pumpkin seeds is, of course, a pumpkin. And I believe this is a pumpkin pie pumpkin. And I went ahead and washed the skin with a little bit of baking soda and vinegar. Give it a nice pat down and dry it off. And then it's time to have some adult unsupervised fun. We're going to cut this thing open. In this part, you want to be extra careful, okay? I already have six stitches on one finger, and I don't want any more in any more of my fingers. And once your pumpkin is cut open, it is time to do that tedious process of scooping all of those guts out and all of those seeds out, which is really annoying because it's really slippery and hard to do. As you can see here, it's giving me a pretty hard time. I know some people use like the, the hand mixers with the beaters and they sort of go in and just whip everything up and then scoop it out. But since I cut it in half this way, I was kind of worried if I did that, everything would kind of just go flying all over the walls and make a mess. So I figured I just keep at it. And in no time, you'll have a bowl filled with delicious, yummy seeds and guts. What you want to do next is bring these over to the sink and grab a colander and thoroughly wash these out. Okay, you want to get all those pumpkin guts, anything orange out of there, make sure they are all thoroughly washed and cleaned. And just as important, you want to make sure these are thoroughly dry. Okay, any moisture will prevent them from browning properly. So go ahead and put down some paper towels, get them nice and dry. Spread them out nice and evenly. Go ahead and blot them with a paper towel. Do whatever you got to do to get these completely completely dry. Once your pumpkin seeds are completely dry, go ahead and add them to a large bowl. And now would be a good time to preheat that oven to 350 degrees. Now it would also be a good time to tell you that the full recipe ingredients and everything will be in the description below. And if you like what you see so far, hit the video with a thumbs up. Or if you're new around here or just not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. You should now have a bowl filled with your clean, dried pumpkin seeds. So to your pumpkin seeds, we're going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. For the seasonings, I'm not going to measure them out, but I'm going to do about one half teaspoon of kosher salt, one fourth teaspoon of the following paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. We're going to give this a good mixing, the mixing it deserves. Then we're going down with a baking tray, aluminum foil, lightly greased, pour your seeds right on, spread those pepperoni tonies out so that they're in a nice even layer. This way they brown evenly and nicely. And with our oven preheated to 350 degrees, we are going to bake these for 15 minutes, going in every five minutes and giving them a little toss to make sure that they uh, brown evenly and nicely. And that's it. Your toasted pumpkin seeds are done. These things are literally so good. Once you eat one, you cannot stop. 